Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr O'Mara here. I'm just going to show you a very neat trick, which is where you get something to disappear off the screen and wrap around to the other side of the screen. You, this is good if you've particularly got sort of objects um, moving across the screen, um, like sort of Space Invaders style, or if you've got things moving around like asteroids, that sort of thing. So here's what you do. You attach this to an object. I would be inclined to attach this to the object itself. So I want my cloud object, to, which is um, object underscore cloud, to do this. So I'm going to say add event um, in other when it intersects the boundary. Actually, you know what? Let's say when it's outside the room. So once it's fully left the room, then I am going to use this symbol here and make it wrap. So now I can actually just have it wrapping horizontally, which means it'll go out the left and come in the right and vice versa, or I can have it in both directions. Now I'm going to set it from both directions, but in my particular game, um, it's going to only work one way. So I'm going to run my game and I'll be back in a minute once I'm up to that part of the game so that we can see how that works. Okay, so here we are and we see the clouds and they're actually just going to go off the side of the screen and come back on the other side of the screen. So that is how wrapping works and you can have it happening, happening up and down as well. And it's quite a good way of reusing your objects. So I hope that's helpful.